Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today's video, we are going to cover the machine cap on Hack the Box. There's a few things I want to highlight in this video, such as IDOL and how to manipulate or exploit that vulner vulnerability using Burp Suite, or at least identify it. Um, with that being said, if you do enjoy this video or any other video that I have recorded in the past, please drop a like, subscribe for more, and let's get started. So the first step is going to be some recon. So we're going to use an Nmap to perform a scan to enumerate and see what ports and services are running on this machine. So let's go ahead, open up a new terminal and run the Nmap command. As you can see here, we have Nmap. We specified the IP address of this machine on the box. We got SC for default scripts, SV for enumerating versions on this machine or of these services. Dash OA will save this output to initial dash recon in various formats. And then we have dash PN because this machine is blocking pings. So go ahead and enter. All right, so once the scan is complete, we'll look over the results. What we notice here is that we have port 21 open, which is FTP, port 22 for SSH, port 80 for HTTP. So from here, we're going to go ahead and check out the website that's hosted on this server. Once we're here, usually what I do is I just kind of click around, see what the website's about, see if I can find anything that's out of ordinary. So as you can see, it looks like a dashboard hosting various results of the server. IP config, network status. Now if we go up here to security snapshot, notice up here that it references something, right? So if we go here, we change this to four, go back, we're gonna get different results. Now we have six. Now if we go to zero, something else, so what is that about? So let's go ahead and download that. Open the PCAP file in Wireshark. We notice right off the bat that this network traffic is not from us because our IP address is not 192.168.196. So we find a request to the FTP server with the user Nathan, and then below that we'll say, uh, we see please specify password. And then two below that, we'll actually see the password in plain text. Now we have the password for Nathan on the FTP server. So what we could do from here is number three, go ahead and open up terminal again now we can log into that FTP server using that password we found to do that you're going to specify FTP the user followed by the IP address once you enter the password you get a login success from here we could do dirt directory and we'll find user.txt that's the first flag what I also noticed is that we exit out of this. Let's try using those same credentials, but for the SSH. So using those same credentials, we now have an, a terminal with that server using those same credentials we found from the PCAP. All right, so from here, once we are logged in using Nathan in the SSH server, we go ahead and there's a number of things that we could do, but we are going to download LNPs and execute it on this machine. So what I do is I download it locally to my machine and then I'll use Python to transfer it over. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make sure that we are in the directory where that file is being stored and run the python-m server specify the port. Now this file is being served on this uh, VPN. So we're gonna go ahead over here and use wget. It would probably help if I spelled it correctly. There you go. As you can see, the file has been transferred and now we go ahead and execute this script. All right, so the best way to go about this is read that file uh, per their documentation for linpeas. We're gonna use less, dash R, and then specify the text file. So usually from here, I'll look for things like set UID. Uh, obviously you could scroll through this whole thing and see what you get. But for the purpose of this machine, we're gonna do set UID. One of the things that stood out is this one right here, Python 3.8. And I know with Python, you could get a root shell and it has cap set UID. 
reading through the documentation, you will know that you could use this to get into a root shell using Python. And to do that, all we are going to do is we're going to quit out of this and we are going to just open up a Python terminal. And then from here, we're going to import the OS library. I'm going to set the UID to zero. And we're going to do system. And then open up a ba uh, bin bash. And now we have root privileges. So from there, we could obviously do anything we want with this machine with using root. Um, but for this machine and for this flag, we're just going to go ahead and cat the root.txt within the root directory and that closes out this machine so just to kind of go over what we did today uh, so we first uh, ran an nmap scan and we found some open ports the one that we first enumerated was port 80 which is the HTTP server on that website we found an actual reference to an object which is this vulnerability is considered an IDOR and by changing this ID we were able to find different information using zero we were able to find a PCAP uh, a wireless or a, a, a network capture of traffic and in there we found a username and password from there we logged in FTP we then used those same credentials to log into the SSH from there we downloaded LIMPs LIMPs gave us a bunch of information we went after the set UID and then we found that Python had that set so we were able to get into a Python uh, terminal and then uh, spawn a root session using Python that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe for more, and as always, never stop learning.